At Rathcamp Financial, we act as your advocate in all wealth matters. We believe in long-term relationships and working to earn your continued trust with our customized investment solutions. Our greatest satisfaction comes from working with clients for many years and helping them realize their dreams. Yellow Day, Chillicothe, downtown. It's going to be big. It was big in 2019, as uh, people are seeing some of the footage in the background here. Uh, this is a special event. First, Ben, let's talk about where this all started. Your mom was involved in this, wasn't she? In a way, yes. So my mom, um, I guess, started the idea for Yellow Day through one of her co-teachers um, that she worked with and helped mentor when he was starting. Um, my mom ended up being diagnosed with cancer towards the end of her career and passed away before she was able to retire. And uh, he took it upon himself to try to do something in memory of her to make sure that the idea, the legacy, and the mindset that she brought to her classroom and to her students carried on. And so this is his idea from the start, and then it's blossomed into everybody else who's participated. And all these things that go on here in Chillicothe are just continuation of that idea and mentality. Yeah. It, it was awesome to get a chance to talk with Adam Peterson and to learn more about his heart for this, his passion for it. And it just started out as just, one location, your hometown, and then it just blossomed and went across the country. Seems to so far, and it's hard to keep track of now. He's a better one to ask when he gets here in town yeah. <laughs> as to uh, where it's at uh, across the nation and the world, technically. Um, so it's really neat to see how people have gravitated towards the idea of spreading kindness and the whole premise of Yellow. So it's cool. We, unfortunately, were not able to get to know your mom. What would she think about this? I don't know if she'd know what to say. Um, she was a quietly humble person in a way, but she was, you know, this dynamic woman who led by example without having to do a lot. So I think she would be taken aback and not know really how to act or respond to it. Um, but I know that she would be immensely proud of what it's done. Um, my dad got to see a little bit of it um, before he passed away as well. Um, and he just felt that there was such a cool need to it for, you know, our children and the kids that my mom cared about so much. Um, so it just carries on that idea. And so I know he thought that she would have been in love with it. Um, and I feel that she probably would be. Yeah. You, you've kind of been brought into this by proxy, I guess, but <laughs> uh, HUD, you've been brought into this because you're part of the community and uh, he volunteers for everything, it seems. So <laughs> thank you. Uh, this is a very important event and really just to promote random acts of kindness. Yeah, and I'll tell you how I got involved was just simply by watching it happen the first year. Uh, you know, managing the Carlisle building downtown, uh, part of my job is to have my finger on the pulse of the community, and um, it started, I just started watching these kids go by in their yellow shirts, and next thing I know I'm taking pictures, and I'm up on the roof taking pictures. Uh, watched the whole day unfold, and it was just, it was magical. Um, afterwards I, I spoke with the, the people that had set up the original one and wanted to get involved and here we are bigger and better coming at you this year. <laughs> the, the big thing about all this is to just be kind and you can do that any time of the year but this is especially one day set aside to do it but we hope it's contagious and spreads faster than the pandemic did. <laughs> well the, the phrase is throw kindness around like confetti. And uh, I think that really uh, encapsulates exactly what we're trying to do here. Um, you know, it, it's hard to set up an event for random acts. You know, I've had so many people from the community reach out. How do we get involved? Well, that's a tough, an tough question to answer. You know, um, be kind is the easy answer. Um, and, and that's really all we ask. You know, we just want people to, to feel what it's like to to watch the kids embracing the kindness, to feel what it's like to be kind. You know, uh, we all know how it feels when someone's kind to us, but selfishly being kind to others gives you such a good feeling inside. And I think that's probably, you know, Ben mentions his mom's humility. And I, I think that's kind of one of the basis of these is uh, the, the kinder you are, the less you need to put on airs and the more you get to really know people. And, uh, I'll tell you, the, after the first year, just watching, I was an hour in watch, taking pictures of those kids, and I knew I'm getting involved in this thing.
Yeah, in fact, uh, you'll probably see on the scroll here, uh, or not the scroll, but the, the footage here, you'll see HUD up there on top of the Carlisle building. Uh, through your position with Adina, you see a lot of people from around the world, really, come to Chillicothe uh, just to go to the medical side of things for Adina. What's their impression when you especially start talking about random acts of kindness? Well, you know, um, the number one response I get from my students is they don't, they can't understand just how nice our community is. Uh, example is uh, numerous times I've been told, I didn't realize people were saying hi to me when I walked by them on the street. They're not <laughs> used to that, you know, and that's something I think we take for granted in our community, and I think all communities could use more of, just people smiling at each other, people saying hello. I like to talk about Chillicothe, that it's, it's big enough that you can go through Chillicothe and not know everybody. You can keep your head down and keep to yourself. But it's also small enough that if you want to, you can know everyone. And, uh, you know, I'm blessed through my position that my job is to kind of look for community events and find a way to get involved. And we've done that pretty much uh, for five and a half, six years now, and I, I hope to do it for 25 more. Uh, Hud and I have been around Chillicothe most of our lives. Ben, you're a transplant. I am. Uh, however, you're a mid Midwestern boy, right? I am. Yeah. Uh, how different is Chillicothe to, to where you come from? Uh, where I grew up, everything's very flat. So uh, <laughs> I grew up about 60 miles south of Chicago, and that's where I guess this whole story kind of started. Yeah. Um, but I came from a community very similar to this in that you know my family grew up there. We knew everybody. Um, I think the one thing that you know, HUD was talking about that's, that was, I remember from my hometown is that we didn't have stoplights originally when we were younger. And when you pulled up to the four-way stop in the middle of town, everybody waved at each other because you knew who they were. And I, you think about that, and it's such a small, simple thing, but it reminded you that you were part of the group of people. And mm -hmm. I think that whole mindset um, is something that we need, and that's the idea of this, is that those little things that remind you that you know that person or that, you know, you could reach out to them or talk to them or you're saying hello, just to tell them that, you know, they're welcome or you're welcome um, and you're accepted is, is very important right now. And that's the whole idea of kindness is that we don't want people to spend money on it. We don't want them to, uh, you know, put out their businesses or things like that. And many have. But the whole idea is, is to find a way to do something to make a memorable event by just being kind or tell somebody something nice. And, and that's the most important part. And the kids see it and they carry that on and hopefully they'll remember that going forward and that, that'll change things. That's what we want. I think the big difference between us and the big cities is uh, what we see through media, talking about uh, TV network shows and that sort of thing, we, we always think that they had the mentality that everybody lives too close together. They don't want anything to do with each other or whatever. We have grown up in an area in which we see people walking by and we sit on the front porch and we say hi to them and that sort of thing. We want to keep that going because we can outnumber them, right? <laughs> we can rub off on them, so to speak, uh, those that live in New York and Chicago and the larger communities. And, and it's even Columbus now, too. <laughs> Columbus isn't a tiny town. <laughs> Um, for the day, we're talking about May 6th, um, really the school kids will come down early in the day and then things will go on throughout the day and bring the families down later in the afternoon. Yeah, we have activities going on all day, uh, starting around 9, 9.30 a.m. is when the kids should descend upon downtown. Um, We've left it up to their teachers to set up what their random acts of kindness are going to be. We try not to dictate kindness you know it can be whatever whatever makes someone else feel happy um so that's part of the fun of putting this together is i can't wait to see what we've done um the hardest part is trying to structure something that you want to be random uh you know i've had numerous businesses reach out numerous people reach out all wanting to be involved saying how can i get involved and i'm, I'm not trying to be curt when i say Come downtown and be kind. You know, I mean, that's really the only number one thing we have. Uh, we're not looking for sponsors. We're not looking for donations. None of that is involved in any of this. And that's very refreshing. You know, uh, we need fundraisers. We need things like that. But not to be kind. kind kindness is one of the only things you can do for free. Um, yeah, and, and the benefit you get from it um, to who 
to the person you're kind to and just from being kind, uh, um, I don't think you can put a price tag on. But as far as the day goes, yeah, roughly nine to uh, two is what we consider sort of the, the student portion of the day. Um, we have kids from Bishop Fouge, RCCA, Chillicothe City Schools, and there may be some others. All are welcome. Um, it's just with coming off of the pandemic, it's been hard for us to try to get all of the schools involved. So we, we've tried to pare that down a little bit, but anybody can show up. Uh, at 11, we'll be doing the proclamation. We will have Paint Street closed down, just the, the half, section, half block section in front of the courthouse. Uh, Mayor Feeney's going to do a proclamation that today is, or that May 6th is Yellow Day. Um, we'll have someone read the book, uh, probably some speakers, just talking about how great it is to be kind. Um, then, you know, the kids have to get back to school in the mid-afternoon. There'll, there'll probably be a little lull there. Um, but what I'm really excited to see is what we've added uh, in the afternoon and evening. And that's when we want the kids to go home and tell their parents what they did today and bring their parents down uh, in the evening. We're going to have musicians, artists, booths set up all around downtown. Uh, we hope to just flood the city with yellow and kindness. Um, to the point where I don't even know who's where and what. We're still planning that, but we're, we're trying not to plan too much. Um, but we want everyone to be down in the evenings just, just smiling at each other, walking down. You know, um, Dan, you know well what our community's been through in the last decade and a half. Um, so as a, as a lifelong resident of Chillicothe, to drive through downtown on a Friday evening and see all the people just on a regular day. It's mind-blowing, isn't and, it? And it's heartwarming. It yeah. really is. Yeah. Um, we want to triple that, and we want everyone down there to be just focused on spreading smiles. Uh, uh, there is no answer to what can you do. I've had so many people ask, and it's just come down, be kind, think of something you can do that can leave a mark on somebody else. Now we will have celebrity joining us, and that is uh, Adam Peterson himself, the one who really got the ball rolling on Yellow Day. And he's going to visit with the schools, and the kids will get a chance to meet him in person. Yeah, uh, yeah I think that's correct. The day before, on the 5th, he's, tour uh, the 5th, he's touring several schools, and then he'll be there the entire day on the 6th, I believe. Yeah. Um, and he's staying with you guys, correct? Yeah, we're putting so, him up yeah. at the Carlisle so he can have a bird's eye view of what's going on down mm. there. But I, <laughs> from what I've learned of Adam, I don't think he's going to be spending a lot of time watching through the window. <laughs> uh, I have actually never got to meet Adam, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but that's one of the beauties of this thing. It's There's people all over the world now that don't know the particular players that started this but just understand the impact that it can have and really want to see it take off i mean we can make people happy for free let's do it yeah i know he was all geared up to make an appearance here two years ago and uh, it was great to get a chance to talk with him. You can see that on our YouTube channel. In fact, I'll, I'll put the link to it down here in the, the Facebook post a little bit later on. But he's got to be amped to be here this year. I don't think my wife has been off the phone with him for more than about a, you know, 30 <laughs> minutes since we got this all scheduled. So he's very excited, and I'm excited to see him. I haven't seen him in a couple of years. I know he's bringing his daughter out with him too, which will be very cool, and they'll get to kind of – see the whole environment and see everything that's going on because um, it did start, you know, in, in the school area where my mom taught and with him. And so to see it grow into another community is just going to be neat. So. Yeah, absolutely. Is there anything that we have missed? Is there a website involved or a place on Facebook people can learn more? We have a Facebook page, Chillicothe Yellow Day, um, up to like 1,400 followers right now as we speak. Every morning I wake up and we find 50 more friends out there. Um, <laughs> But uh, I think that's the main place to go for information. Uh, we've put flyers up downtown. Uh, but basically what we just told you is what we know. May 6th, come down, see the kindness. Looking forward to it. It costs you nothing to be kind. In fact, if you want to invest in something, invest in kindness because the return is, is really good. Well so. said. Gentlemen, thank you for your time today. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity. Hudson Ward. Ben Trotter, Dan Ramey, thank you for watching. <laughs> we'll tell you more. And uh, keep an eye on them. There'll be yellow downtown. Why don't you join in as well? Get more details, again, at the information we'll share with you a little bit later in another post right here on Litter Media. Thanks for watching.